DNA replication at the end of this lesson you will be able to describe the process of bacterial replication explain the structure of DNA and extra chromosomal DNA describe the methods of reproduction in bacteria children love to dress up most of the kids prefer to wear bright colored clothing usually siblings in a family swap their outfits to form a new style do you know that something similar happens even in bacteria just like swapping a shirt between siblings the genetic information is swapped between bacteria more clearly the genes are exchanged between two different bacteria to form a new genetic arrangement this process is known as genetic recombination significance of bacterial dna recombination recombination such as that genes move from one species to another this phenomenon is called lateral gene transfer lgt the remarkable spread of resistance to a number of antibiotics is by the transfer of resistance genes within population and between species thus it is clear that DNA can be transferred within the bacterial population but how does a bacterium produce multiple copies of DNA it is through the replication process that the bacterium produces copies of its DNA let's proceed by discussing bacterial replication in detail DNA replication is a vital and complex process occurring in all life forms The proteins involved in the replication machinery include helicases, single-stranded DNA binding proteins, topoisomerases, DNA polymerases, and ligases. Here are the steps involved in DNA replication in E. coli bacteria. The DNA A protein binds to the origin of replication in the DNA strand. This recruits the helicase protein to the site. The helicase unwinds the DNA helix with the help of DNA gyrase. The single-stranded DNA is kept separated by the single-stranded binding proteins. The DNA polymerase enzyme adds the nucleotides continuously in the leading strand, while the nucleotides are added discontinuously in the lagging strand. Primase synthesizes RNA primer that is required by the DNA polymerase enzyme to catalyze the addition of the nucleotides in the lagging strand. Finally, the Okazaki fragments are joined together by the enzyme DNA ligase. As the bacterial chromosome is circular, the forks meet on the other side and two separate chromosomes are released. The three DNA replication model includes the conservative model, the semi-conservative model, and the dispersive model. Conservative model. In this model, the two parental DNA strands remain together after the replication process. This means that one daughter molecule contains both the parental DNA strands, while the other daughter molecule contains the DNA strands of all. newly synthesized material semi conservative model in this model the two parental dna strands get separated and each of those strands serves as a template for the synthesis of a new dna strand this results in two dna strands both of which consist of one parental and one new strand dispersive model in this model The parental double helix is broken into double stranded DNA segments that act as a template for the synthesis of new double stranded DNA molecules. Moving on, let us learn about the genetic structure of bacterial cell. Plasmid is an extra chromosomal circular DNA which comprises an origin of replication, a selectable marker and a cloning site. plasmid cannot make use of the origin of replication in a chromosome which means that dna synthesis within a plasmid 
depends on the plasmid having an origin of replication of its own. A selective marker is required for the maintenance of the plasmid in a cell. Under selective conditions, only the cells that contain plasmid with the appropriate selectable marker can survive. Let us discuss the benefit of this selective marker. A DNA with a gene of interest is cut with the help of restriction enzymes and combined with the plasmid, this forms the recombinant DNA which is then transferred to the bacterium which is allowed to grow in colonies known as the gene library. The gene library is then screened to identify which bacterial colony is producing copies of the gene of interest. Moving on, let us discuss in detail the processes of recombination that include transduction, transformation and conjugation. Transduction is a type of bacterial reproduction in which a bacterium is infected by a virus that injects short pieces of chromosomal DNA from one bacterium to another. The bacterial virus that helps in the transfer of DNA segment is called as a phage or bacteriophage. At first, the phage connects to the bacterial cell and infuses its genetic material into the host cell. An enzyme is synthesized by the phage that this integrates the bacterial DNA into smaller fragments. The phage DNA gets replicated and coat proteins are produced. During the formation of mature phage units, there are possibilities for a few phage head to carry bacterial DNA instead of phage DNA. After the lysis of the host cell, the bacteriophages get released which can infect a new bacterium and continue the same process. In some cases, when the phage infects a bacterium, the transferred DNA integrates with the bacterial DNA and becomes part of the bacterial genome. When the host cell undergoes cell division, the genetic materials are replicated and distributed between the divided cells. DNA transformation is a process by which a bacterium directly takes up a naked DNA from the surrounding environment and incorporates it into the recipient chromosome. In the first phase, the donor DNA fixes to a particular receptor on the surface of the bacterial cell. After fixation, one strand of DNA fragment enters the cell while another strand is degraded by the nucleus of the cell envelope. The donor DNA combines with the recipient DNA by breakage reunion and copy choice mechanism which is known as homologous recombination. If there is any variance between the nucleotide of the recipient and the donor genetic material, then a mismatch repair system comes into play. This repair system eradicates either the recipient or donor genetic material and replaces it with the complementary sequence. As a result, few cells encompass new donor genetic material while others have the original DNA sequences. Hence, in a research laboratory, the cells are plated on selective culture media to allow the occurrence of transformation process. Bacterial conjugation is the transfer of bacterial DNA between two cells by a tube called pilus. A majority of the bacterial species undergo conjugation process. Conjugation can happen between two different species or the same species of cells. For the conjugation process, there has to be a donor and a recipient cell. The donor cell must have a small circular extra chromosomal DNA called as F plasmid or in specific the F factor. This F factor indicates the fertility factor. Strains of bacteria having the F factor are called F plus cells while those without it are called F minus cells. A donor cell that is 
the F plus cell creates a structure called a pilus to link with the recipient cell. As a result, there exists a cytoplasmic bridge between the two bacterial cells. In conjugation, the F factor in the F plus cell has a specific DNA sequence called the origin, which is cut by a protein complex called the relaxosome. Some accessory proteins of the relaxosome complex, such as relaxase, are released and then transferred to the pilus. This complex is recognized by a factor called coupling factor and transported to the exporter, further contiguous with the pilus. The pilus drives the relaxase complex and tDNA into the F- cell. Once the entire tDNA is moved to the F- cell, the relaxase joins the ends to make the circular DNA. As the tDNA is shifted to the F- or recipient cell, it is replicated into double standard DNA. In the F plus cell, the DNA of the F factor also gets replicated, forming double standard DNA. At the end of this process, both cells arrive with a complete copy of the double standard F factor. The pilus gets discarded and each of the cells acts as a separate F plus cell which can continue to conjugate with other cells. Thus, by learning the processes of bacterial replication and recombination, we can understand the various aspects of genetic engineering, which finds its application in research, medical and agricultural industries. Summary DNA replication is a vital and complex process occurring in all life forms. The three DNA replication model includes the conservative model, the semi-conservative model and the dispersive model. Transduction is the process by which DNA from a bacterium is transferred to another by a bacteriophage. DNA transformation implicates the movement of naked DNA into a recipient bacterium. Bacterial conjugation is the transfer of genetic material between the bacterial cells by a tube called pilus.